What's up, y'all? Happy day after 4th of July. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the clips of my 4th of July that I had with my family. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great 4th of July as well. I wanted to touch on something that I know um, plagues a lot of folks on a fitness program. I know because I kind of prep my clients for this before the holidays. Um, you know, this is the first holiday that we have been up and running in like full gear. Um, so the most important thing you know, being a lifestyle trainer, first and foremost, is making sure that you guys are prepared mentally and per the plan for these holidays so that you can go and enjoy in whatever way you see fit. If you're the type of person like I am that to go and enjoy like a, a, um, a sporting event or something like a cookout, you know, I got to be eating and being a part of this with everybody else. Then I'll prepare my meals accordingly throughout the week um, to not have a cheat or a heavier meal or anything because I know this is coming. And for really any training program, unless you are prepping for competition, there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that there. If you've been super clean and dedicated to your plan, you are not going to throw yourself off the wagon for one day of eating. That would require a lot of dedicated effort to kick yourself off your plan and actually uh, kind of regress, if you will. But again, the goal is to enjoy it whatever way you see fit. So the most important thing that I want to make sure that my clients are going into these holidays um, focusing on is being present in the moment, in the holiday, and enjoying it and knowing that this is your one time. We don't know if we're going to get another 4th of July, another Christmas, another any of these holidays. We don't know if we're going to get another tomorrow. So if you're going to do it, you might as well do it the best that you can and know that you had the best holiday possible, whatever that means for you. The whole point of this channel is to be a fitness lifestyle channel, but the main thing is that there's that lifestyle portion of it. That is probably the most important aspect of this whole thing, of both of those words, fitness and lifestyle. Lifestyle is probably the most important thing because if you can't get this to fit in the lifestyle that you have, you're never going to actually keep up with the fitness part. And I know for some watching this, um, you might kind of wonder, okay, how does being present in the moment, has any of this stuff have to do with being fit? How's it going to make me better? I promise you, if you actually take a moment and you actually focus on being present in everything that you do, your workouts will be better. Your meal prep will be better. Everything will be better. It sounds stupid, but if you can just start being present in every aspect of your life, not just when you're at the gym, not just like when you're at work hoping you can go home and do X, Y, and Z. If you can be present in everything you are doing, it will make everything else you are doing that much better. So again, it's not 100% fitness related, but it is really, really, really important 
um, to be able to stick with everything. Because why is it that most people stop doing their fitness programs? Is it because they don't want to get fit? Is it because they don't know how? No, they have the program. It's because they run out of time. Why do they run out of time? Why, or why do they think they run out of time? Because of the lifestyle they're living. Okay, so if you don't get your lifestyle in order, your fitness is going to fail. So they all go hand in hand, even though, you know, focusing on the nitty gritty lifestyle portion is not always fun, sexy, and exciting. So take that day to enjoy, to splurge a little bit, to splurge a lot, to not splurge at all, but give yourself the grace to enjoy that day. I can't really stress that enough because I do know whether it's my clients or others that they really just stress at these events because they think that people might say something if they don't eat or make fun of them or they feel they have to do all this extra meal prep because they don't know how long they're going to be gone. So they may have to have two or three meals and then making sure there's a microwave they can use and all this different stuff. And it's like, if you're that dedicated and you want to be perfect, do what you got to do, but give yourself the grace, give yourself the ability. And if you don't have a plan that is giving you that flexibility, when you kind of want it or need it in your life because of whatever lifestyle you live, then that is kind of a problem. You know, so um, if you're working with a trainer, they should be making these adjustments for you. Now that doesn't mean just carp launch or letting you eat crap whenever you feel like it, but we, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, guys, that's all I really wanted to say. Just make a really quick video, just kind of address that and let you know that it is okay to enjoy at the holidays. Don't overdo it, but it is okay to enjoy, especially if you're sticking with your program. And if you're not sticking with your program, you will feel bad about it. If you're sticking with your program, you won't feel nearly as bad. You will actually be able to enjoy that splurge if you do take the splurge. Anyway, guys, if you are looking for a plan, the perfect, if I do say so myself, lifestyle plan, please consider checking out my online personal training program in the show notes below. It is called The Academy. Um, I take on clients who will not settle for anything less than their best. And my whole goal is to be able to create plans that fit with your lifestyle. Nothing is cookie cutter. No two people have the same plans. And my questionnaires are super in-depth to make sure that I am giving you the best plan possible that you will actually stick with because no matter how good the plan is, the plan only works if it's something you want to stick with. So anyway, y'all, I would love for you to check that out. Uh, that'd be a great way to support or even when you go over there, drop your email. If you're not in that phase of life where you're ready to just take on like a full custom program, drop your email below. I send currently bi-weekly emails, gonna, about to be weekly emails where I send different free content, different uh, tips of the week. You know, I have the YouTube videos that have a lot of free content and assistance and non-rocket science-y materials that will actually help you on the day-to-day. -day. I just want to be here to try to elevate you, to make you better, to have you reach that goal that you have either been struggling or been hoping or been trying to reach for a long time. I'm trying to do it myself, so there's no reason why I can't be here helping you and we can't do this together. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of the day. Have a great rest of the month. We are halfway through the year, so we've got a lot of time to still crush these goals. So get out there and do it. Um, I will see you in next week's video.